G'day guys, how are you? It's Dave back here again uh, from Just Brilliant Adventures. Um, if you had have seen the last video, you would have noticed that Roz put it up and decided to take the piss out of me. Well, I did something a bit silly. Well, it wasn't silly at the time, but it was when I did it, or after I did it, and that was I decided to climb a ladder with nobody holding the bottom of it and uh, having it on too much of an angle. Well, we're back at the scene of the crime, which is, uh, there's the palm tree just there. I had to cut the palm down from. And uh, down on the ground here somewhere. Yep. You can see the blue line down there, that was where the ladder slipped. And down there was where I landed face first and chest first. Well, out of that little debacle, I ended up getting a uh, scrape on my chin. I got uh, some skin off my stomach skin off my arm uh, there and also up under there and I managed to tear my left calf muscle and give myself a hernia in the groin so now I'm waiting to see the doctor next week and um, she'll let me know what's going on and whether I need to go and get it operated on but I can tell you now I am still in a lot of pain and my knees have got a lot of fluid in them um, from the damage that I did to them anyway Enough about me. I hope you're all uh, had a great long weekend. If you're up here in Queensland and you've got another great, uh, another long weekend coming, what I'm going to crack on with today is I'm going to install, since Ross called me Safety Dave, I'm going to install on the car and on the caravan the safety tyre system. Now I had this system on my previous car and that, and it is a great little system. What it does is it uh, comes with a little gauge that you can see there on the box and it'll tell you what the PSI on each of your tyres are but also you the temperature, tell you the temperature. The good thing about that is if you're travelling out on the road and the tyres get too hot you can uh, pull over, have a look, see what's causing them to get hot and stop yourself from having a blowout before it is too late. It only normally takes 5 to 10 minutes to set up, alright, it's not too complicated and you can get them with uh, 4, 6, 8, 12, as many gauges as you actually like. Um, I have 8 gauges, obviously I have uh, 4 tyres on the caravan and 4 tyres on the car. Alright, I'm just going to unbox it for you. Important, new batteries are provided inside every sensor. For immediate use, it is therefore not required to open a sensor until battery replacement is required. Spare batteries are also provided in your package. Alrighty. So we have a little Allen key. That'll come into play later. We have all the instructions, some extra pamphlets of other stuff that they uh, sell, i.e. safety day of cameras and um, medical kits and all that sort of stuff. In this little red pouch is the spare batteries that they provide and underneath here there's your uh, screen and I have eight sensors. As I was just saying a minute ago that you can actually get more than eight sensors and they would just put them underneath here in the holes below. So if you have a semi-trailer or something like that Geez, the world is your oyster. These little washers go onto the car and I'll explain them to you. Comes with a uh, car dash mount for your monitor. It has a little tool to tighten them up, the little hex bolts, tighten them up on your car so no one can steal them. Uh, we have a couple of spares in here with a cord and a USB to plug into your car cigarette lighter. And we have oh, a proper cigarette lighter to plug in as well. Uh, that there is a little extender aerial. Now with that aerial, obviously with the caravan, so that the monitor can read all the way back, you can put this aerial in your car if need be. I found that in the past I haven't had to worry about it. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take one of the little sensors out and all the sensors are numbered. So this is the actual sensor itself. They just screw straight onto your tire. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it apart. So it just screws off. Then you'll see number eight. So this is obviously gonna be the eighth tire. 
place that over your wheel place on the little brass screw that I showed you screw this in then you tighten the little brass screw in so that it can't move and put your cap on top and screw it on right now before we do this we need to um, synchronize it with the actual um, head unit okay and I'll show you how that is done I'll show you on one or two tires I'm not gonna bore you with the whole thing um, and then I'll just go through later and I'll show you how it all works uh, just before I crack on one thing I would like to say is um, Roz and I went down the Gold Coast the other day and uh, went to Hungry Jack's at Ashmore That's where my daughter works as a manager and um, little did we know that uh, we have a fan that actually works there I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Lockie, Lachlan Crapper, all right? Young guy, came out and seen us, got a photo of the car, showed him through the car and all that, and he was pretty impressed. And uh, absolutely loves watching the show and uh, the dad jokes at the end. Um, yes, a few people have let me know that I uh, missed the last couple, all right? Due to who knows what, obviously I wasn't thinking straight or um, I just couldn't be half assed I don't know. Anyway, Lockie, keep doing what you're doing, mate. And um, yeah, once you finish your uh, trade or your apprenticeship there, um, yeah, the world will be your oyster. All right, mate, I'm gonna uh, crack on now and uh, get back into this. All right, I've got everything laid out down here in front of me. And uh, basically, as you can see, you've got the eight gauges, you've got the uh, monitor, a couple of tools that we'll be using. And these are just some spare rubber grommets, seals, all right, that we uh, can use with the thing as if need be. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually put one of the uh, tire pressure gauges onto the tire. First thing that you're gonna need is the locking nut. Okay, what this little nut does is, once you put it on the tire and you put the gauge on, you then screw the nut back towards the gauge and it locks it in just to stop people stealing your gauges. So what we do is, we uh, screw the nut on, make sure you don't cross thread it. Get our backing cap. Then get the tire pressure gauge and we screw it on. You will hear a bit of air come out as it uh, pushes on, but then you'll push through that and it will stop. So screw him on. There's that air. Okay, and we tighten him up. What we have to then do is get our little nut that I was talking about, the locking nut, spin it back towards the gauge. Do it finger tight. Then we get our little tool and lock him on. What that'll do is, will hopefully stop people, because you cannot then move this. Then put our dust cover on. There you go, simple, nice and tight. You do that for all eight wheels, or six, or however many wheels you have on your two vehicles. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to take one of the uh, tire pressure gauges off the actual tire. So if you look down here, it's got its cap and all that on it. First of all, we just unscrew the cap. Take the cap off. Then get our little tool. We've got to get in behind to the uh, screw. It's in behind it, not screw the actual nut. And we're going to loosen the nut. So we loosen him off. Back the nut off. Then we screw the tire pressure gauge off. You hear a bit of air coming out. That's fine. That's just coming off. Take off the cap from the back, and then we screw the nut, the locking nut back off. Okay, so that's taking it all apart. Righto, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn, we're gonna code the actual uh, monitor to the actual tire pressure gauges. First thing you do is turn the monitor on with the button on the right hand side, and hold the code button in for three seconds till you hear an audible beep. All right, 
Now we see all the tyres, we've got the front right hand tyre flashing and you've got all the F's. Obviously that means that there is no code set in there. To code it, where you can do it two ways, you can either do the monitors before you put them on the tyre or you can do them once they're on the tyre. You just hit the monitor in the centre of the screen, press the code button, a little red light will pop up here and you'll get your code numbers in there. I'm going to do mine whilst they're on the tyres and I'll show you how it's done. Same thing, we press, push the uh, gauge down near the, the actual monitor down near the gauge, set the tyre gauge onto the centre of the screen, press the code button, red light will come up and I'll show you how it's done. And as you'll see, we now have our code in there. Well, that's the first tyre is done. We now hit the positive sign and we'll move over and you'll see the second tyre is flushing and again we have the six F's. We now move around to the other tyre. Again, we press the screen up against it, press the goad button quickly. Hearing that beep, tells you that it's been coded and you can see that it is flashing. We now move down to the rear two tyres. Again, we hit the positive sign, so we'll move from the front left tyre to the rear right tyre. We don't want the outside because we're not dual tyres, we want the inside. We'll now place it down near the actual gauge, hit the code button. There's its little numbers there flashing, we'll now move around to the last tyre. One last time I'll press the uh, positive to change to the right tyre. Stick it up against the gauge and hit code. It is now set. Now to save all our settings, we hold the code button down for three seconds. Everything is now set. Okay guys, what I'm going to do now is show you how to reset the monitor if you need to reset it. Alright, what we do is, we turn the monitor on. Hold the code button down for three seconds and it's going to beep. Alright, comes up like that. When it has the six F's, it means that that particular tyre has been um, reset. I've already reset the first one. You press the plus sign. Second one I've reset. We'll go to the third one. All right, as you can see, it has all those code numbers in there. Now to reset it, you just hold the set button down for three seconds. You get a beep, and it comes up with the six Fs. We'll now move on to the fourth tire. Hold the set button down for three seconds. And it resets. Okay, and you continue doing that for all the tyres that you want to reset. So we're getting into our car and we're going to uh, head off on a journey. Right, obviously the uh, monitor system is turned off. When we turn it on, it comes up with all the information. Now what it's going to do is it's going to run through the eight tyres. While it's doing that, it's getting all the information from the tyres and the uh, gauges. As you can see, I'm a fair distance from the caravan, but it will still pick up what the tyres are doing. You'll see it click in in a minute once it's cycled through them all. So we're now on the front left of the van, rear right of the van. There you go, they're up now. So I'm showing you which tyre it's on and the actual pressure and the temperature. Alrighty then, turn him off. Just remember, if you're using a ladder, have someone help you or make sure that the uh, ladder is on the correct angle and that uh, that's sitting properly, not just balancing like I had it. Um, before I go, hey Lockie, here's a joke for you mate. What do you call a chubby psychic? A fortune teller. Get it? All right, guys. Um, remember, if you like the video, like the channel, subscribe. Uh, if you click the notification bell, it will um, let you know when we put your new videos up. And um, 
two weeks now and we're going to be heading up to Bundaberg so we'll take you with us and we'll show you what's on the road. Cheers guys, have a good afternoon and a long weekend.